To make your knit idea jar, you will need an empty jar. You can even get a small trinket box as well. Then you're going to need a pen, scissors, and a sheet of paper. Now you can even use colored paper or decorative scrap paper too. If you have a paper cutter, then just cut like half inch strips. If you don't, you're going to take your paper and fold it in half. You can even use a ruler too. I found this way to work pretty good. So once you have it in half, now you're going to fold it in half again. So you have your half, you're going to fold it again. Then once you got this, you're gonna fold it again. And then at this point it was a little too it's a little too thick to fold, so you just open the flaps and fold each of these flaps in to the center seam. You can even just do the paper accordion. So once you have your paper all folded, you're gonna unfold it. And as you can see, we have our lines that we're gonna follow while cutting out our strips. So once you have your paper and your strips, now you're just going to gather them together. And now we're going to cut this into thirds. And then I take what I just cut off, line it up to the end, and then cut. So now you have all these little strips that we can write our knit ideas on. So now you want to take your jar or your box and you're going to open it up. Then you're going to take one of your strips and you're going to write down one of your ideas. Then you want to fold it in half and place it in your jar. And you'll just continue that with all your ideas and all your new ideas, you just keep writing them down. Then once you have it all full, you're gonna place on your lid or close your box. And when it comes time to picking a project, you'll take your box, shake your ideas around, then you're gonna randomly draw out a slip of paper. And now you have your next project. I hope you try out this idea jar. If you do, please send me some photos of your jar and let me know what your next project is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.